kids. I hope you're doing great. Today we're going to be reading my favorite bedtime story called The Zebra Said Shh. It was bedtime at the zoo, but it was not quiet. The animals were talking. They were all talking. Up in his paddock, the zebra was very tired. He told the animals to go to bed and said, Shh, it's time to go to sleep. The same thing happened with the monkeys. They were saying, Oh, Ah, uh, ah, uh, ooh, ooh, ah, uh, ah, uh, and did not want to sleep. But the zebra sure did, and he said, Shh, please, guys, I'm trying to sleep. The lion, the mightiest pers- uh, animal in the jungle, went, yeah. and he roared around and prowled around his den. The zebra was so annoyed and went, Shh, it's time to go to sleep. How many times do I have to tell you guys? Again, the parrot did not want to go to sleep either. She said, squawk, squawk, and flew around amongst the leaves. The zebra said, shh. The turtles did not want to go to sleep. They said, snap, snap, and lumbered around the yard by their pond. The zebra said, shh, I want to go to sleep. Please let me sleep for the last time. The seals did not want to go to sleep. They were going Arr, arr, and splashed around in their pool. The zebra was trying to sleep as much as he could, but seriously, it was just too hard for him. The giraffe did not want to go to sleep. He was just eating as much as he could. Munch, munch. The zebra said, shh, it's time to go to sleep, guys. How many times must I tell you? It looks like it's not working. The hippopotamus did not want to go to sleep. He said, snort, snort, and rolled around in the mud by his pond. Oh, such a silly hippopotamus. The zebra said, shh, it's time to go to sleep. I'm trying to sleep here. The rhinoceros did not want to go to sleep. She went, stamp, stamp, and stirred up the dust in her field. The zebra said, shh, it's time to go to sleep. The polar bear, too. The polar bear did not want to go to sleep. He said, grrr, and stalked around the ice. The zebra said, shh, it's time to go to sleep. Oh, I feel bad for you, little zebra. You're having such a hard time going to sleep, aren't you now? Don't you guys love this book? I do, too. But it's not over yet. Suddenly... It got very quiet. None of the animals were talking anymore. They were all asleep. The monkeys were asleep in their trees. The zebra was so happy. He was finally had some peace and quiet. The lion was peacefully sleeping in his den. And the parrot was asleep in her nest amongst the trees. Oh, this story is awesome. The turtles were asleep by their pond. Good turtles. I hope they're all sleeping well. Whoa. Okay. The seals were asleep by their pool, too. They were one of the loudest at first. Looks like everybody's tired. The giraffe was sleeping by her tree. Aw, look at the giraffe. So cute. I hope the zebra's sleeping well, too. I bet he's super happy to know that these animals have finally slept. All right, there's only a few more animals to go, and then they'll all be asleep. After they're all asleep, the zebra can finally have a good night's sleep. The hippopotamus was asleep in the mud. Um, not to be rude, but that's kind of gross. I would not want to sleep in the mud. I'm not sure you would either. It's kind of gross and not clean, I tell you. I think next coming is the rhinoceros. Rhinoceros, where are you? Anyway. Oh, the hippopotamus is sleeping so well. There's stars in the sky, isn't there? If you guys look at the picture, you guys would see that starry background. So quiet and peaceful and so relaxing. 
The rhinoceros was asleep in her field. Aw, look at the rhinoceros. Uh, but the polar bear was asleep on the ice. Brr, that sounds very cold. But since they're polar bears, they're really used to it. Since they are ice bears. No. Oh, and up in his paddock, the zebra said, shh, as he closed his eyes and went to sleep. That's all for today, guys. Wasn't it such an awesome story? Yeah. Thanks to the author M.R. Nelson for this awesome story. I love the story, and I hope you do too. Bye. See you next time.